All right, so we're looking for this breakout here. We've got this 19,990 area at the bottom of this range right now. We got the top of this range up here, and we are currently long, looking for a push up above that 20,000 area again. And then we'll look, try to push to the top of that range one more time. So right now, the NASDAQ going off of that 90 area beautifully here. You can see my trade. I am in long right now here off the 96s. And the reason that I'm long there is if we go back over here and we look, the high of this candle right there, 93.25. So basically trying to get back into this as it was pushing back up, it popped straight up there. So it was a little late to that. But right now in the book map, we got a bunch of liquidity up there at the 12s or so. So I now looking for that momentum to try to take us up there and investigate some of that liquidity to the upside. This range has been pretty killer for the last few hours here. Right now it's two o'clock. So hoping that we might get a push out of this range. There's a pivot point to the upside of the 20,035s. Pull that uh, pivot point up there. We got the pivot point at the 20,035s. We got these highs, 2015 area. We basically just want to stay above the low here, that 85 area. Being my risk on this. What I'm actually going to do is, because I think if we do start to move up, we should get, obviously, more momentum to the upside. So I'm going to stagger this out a little bit. So that way, we, if we do fall short, I'll get stopped out or take profit on five there and then try to get that push up here. Right now, book map showing a lot of liquidity up there, 15, 17s. So I think that's where we're going to go. And then after that, there's liquidity up there at the 32s. So 32s, liquidity to the upside. That pivot point's at 35.75. Overall setup looking good here. Five minute chart, nice little bullish five minute candle trying to push us back above that 20,000 area. The channel here kind of playing out beautifully right now. Oh, baby Jesus. She's going first target there at the 13s. Let's see if we can get it. Liquidity looks good. Still more liquidity at the 15s to get to. 29 contracts right now there at the 15s. Beautiful. So locking in five contracts there. We'll move our other 10 contracts. Uh, let's put them right. Just kind of like we could probably, yeah, we go right below 20,000. Can we get this continuation? The five minute chart pushing up there to the 15s. I think through the 15s, you got a pretty easy push up there into the 20s or so. Kind of a launch pad. Get through here, get more volume to pop through it and then 22 and then 27 up there so i have my next order at 21. bigger volume these balls here <laughs> little circles these are volume indicators basically showing us where all that volume is the majority of the volume there buying volume to push it up so we want to keep seeing those big green bubbles those are buying the ask and aggressively buying there so we pushed up there to the 15s for now, pulled right back down here again. Very little momentum here today, but I like that we took away some of that 15 liquidity for now. Nice little reversal back up. You can see there that liquidity, the 15s now moving out of the way. And we should try to get this push up here. Looks really good at the top of that range right now. I got my target there, 21s. A lot of liquidity stacking up right now. Look at this liquidity. 20s and then after that look at that up here 27.50 and then 40s so the fact that that pivot points up there all that liquidity showing up on the book map as well like look below us right now there's not a lot of stuff going on but above us that big order sitting there now moving up it keeps moving up as well that's good that means the market's going to kind of want to follow it up try to get that liquidity trying to find those buyers and sellers and we're trying to get this push 21 to get filled let's see if we can get it Getting filled, our second take profit. Moving my last and final into the money, 10 points. And then we got 30 to the upside. This is actually playing out beautifully right now. You can see now pushing up to the high of these candles, 26.75. I honestly could probably move my target up. I'm gonna move my target up to 33 now because this is on a tear right here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off three right here. Taking off three right there. And I'm going to leave two for a runner here. I'm going to put it up a little higher. It might take a little longer to get there, but 
as of right now, I think it's an overall great risk to reward. You can see our long there off of 96 as we had the manipulation. We broke to the downside, we pushed up. And now into the almost 30s now, pivot point up there at the 36s. This is a killer trade right here live. It's 12-12 in the afternoon right now, 12-12 there. Trying to get this push up into the 30s. Take me off at 35.50. Oh, lordy. So from the 96s up there to the 35s, you saw there on the book map earlier, we had all that liquidity sitting there. And look at it now, the market on a seek and destroy mission to get up there to the 40s. You got to love it, baby. You got to love it. Overall here, the setup, very simple setup for me at least. This is how we're always kind of trading. We're looking for the high to break of the previous candle, right? So green candle, we had a red candle, then a green candle. Well, the high of that candle, 93. This candle starts pushing, pushing, pushing. Why did I think it was a good long? Well, we're in the bottom of that range. So statistically, you know, the market's been do, 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 do. It's a better chance that the market's going to bounce there than it's going to go straight down. So, and the great part about this is we're waiting for confirmation as well because... We get, once we push back above that previous green candle high, do, 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 right up there to the pivot. So the pivot point there, 36 is getting tapped. You can't, you can't make this up, my friends. We are live. You can see here just to prove down at the bottom. We're all live here. But look at this thing. Right up there to the pivot point and now turning back down. So again, pivot points, pivot points, pivot points. That high there at the 35, the high 37s. Look at this thing. What a reversal. What a reversal. What a reversal. If you guys haven't already hit that like button, subscribe button. If you want to learn more about Bookmap, there's some links down below as well. The Bookmap showing all that liquidity up there and look at it. Would you just look at it? Market made its move. Getting those big buying volumes. Volume, volume, volume. Action, action. And there it is. Locking it down.